as long as humans have been moving across continents, things have been going extinct when humans arrive, right? We see it in Australia, we see it in North America, we see it in South America. The fossil record is when humans arrive, things go extinct. And I try really hard to teach that as separate from the climate change, mass extinction sort of conversation in some ways, because this is a hot take, but I think it's super damaging to kids to have this empowerment, you can change the world narrative, always attached to the discomfort of things have gone extinct, right? I'm, I'm part of this Captain Planet generation. I have watched many of my friends and many kids younger than me learn always things go extinct and we should try to fix it. Things go extinct and you can save it next generation. And realistically, man, we might be in trouble here, right? And adults get to adult age, look at it and say, ooh, we might be in trouble. We should keep trying. We're doing everything right, but we might be in big trouble here. And in fact, recycling our milk jugs <laughs> might not be enough. Um, and I think it's important for kids to learn biology and natural history and be able to sit with these arcs separate from always being told that they're gonna fix it. And that's what I do. Um, I used to teach a summer camp that had like evolution and biology with kids and we'd talk about extinction. And we didn't talk about and how to fix it. We just talked about the history of it because I'm, I'm not sure that teaching their brain that they have power and efficacy and then teaching their brain that they don't in the pattern that we do is actually working out as well as we thought it might when we Captain Planeted a generation.